We are here today with His Excellency Ivo Josipovic in Baku, a former president of Croatia between 2010 and 2015. But apart from being a skilled politician, His Excellency is also a jurist and a composer. In addition to that, President Josipovic is a contributor to the World Post-Pandemic Project issued and developed by the Institute for Advanced Studies in the Van Culture and Civilization. We are here in Baku at the Global Baku Forum talking about the post-pandemic order. However, uh, the, this post-pandemic issue seems to be a rather optimistic perspective. So, uh, if I remember well, your um, candidacy mantra, shall I call it, was the, towards going towards a new justice. How about going towards the new normal that many people are referring to when discussing this post-pandemic order? Mm -hmm. What do you feel about it? So, if I compare it with new justice, that means I uh, was asking for uh, involved morality in politics. Uh, and uh, to put uh, public interest as the first one. Okay, I think we can apply it to post-corona period. In spite of speaking about post-corona, we are in some kind of um, positive mode. But factually, uh, no one knows it's some kind of wishful thinking, uh, because uh, definitely it doesn't look that pandemic will start, will, will stop soon. And uh, even we cannot predict what will be the final look of our societies. Uh, it's important uh, to understand that uh, not only our daily behavior is uh, touched by pandemia, but uh, whole economies, political scene, arts, different skills, uh, human daily relation. So uh, I think that uh, this is still, let's say, work in progress. And we should adapt our vision uh, how to behave tomorrow uh, in accordance with uh, real, real uh, movement in society, in uh, science, in fight against against COVID. Uh, but definitely, I think the, it's very clear that we have one uh, the most important goal: it's to stop pandemic, if possibly, if possible. Uh, and definitely, uh, that means to spread very widely vaccination. Unfortunately, uh, I call it some kind of mid-ages uh, today, because so many people don't believe in, in vaccination, in science, even educated people. Yes. And uh, so they uh, don't recognize what's obvious, that more and more people are ill, that more and more people are dying. So uh, it's a great responsibility of media, of politicians, to spread reality. That's the most important. And then, of course, uh, after some time, we, are, uh, we, we shall be more able to predict how will future human society function and what will be this new normality. Thank you. Indeed, it's a very peculiar aspect to, to look at. And going from this to another issue, you know that every crisis is an opportunity in itself, and from every tragedy one has to learn something and discover the wisdom with it. Indeed, as far as the pandemic is concerned, some lessons have been drawn. You mentioned the vaccination and the yeah. need to uh, spread the word and encourage people to believe more in, uh, in science and medicine and their, uh, their benefits. Mm -hmm. But how about the lessons that have not yet been learned? Because we're dealing with the fourth wave of the pandemic. We're dealing with a new variant of the virus, the Delta variant. And it, it seems to be obvious. Even Delta Plus. <laughs> even Delta Plus, yes. It's, uh, it's an addition, uh, one that we didn't want, of course. But how about these uh, lessons that we have failed or we have not yet learned? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, this uh, wording, historia est magistra vitae, does not function at all. Uh, if you take wars, for example, after big wars, after the world war, wars, uh, we always, humanity always claimed never again. Exactly. What happened? We have Second always war. new and new new um, wars and suffering of people. So, uh, unfortunately, I have to stress that uh, nothing about very important truths are recognized completely 
in the world. So big portion of population does not believe in science and medicine, they don't believe in uh, vaccination, that we cannot uh, claim that it's a lesson that we really learned, unfortunately. unfortunately. So uh, that, will, that should be the first lesson uh, to repeat and repeat and finally to learn. Let's hope that uh, at the end the um, great majority of human population will understand it. Secondly, uh, we should learn that and recognize that there is no successful fight uh, with COVID without uh, global solidarity. Why? Because if uh, developed countries, even if developed countries um, establish uh, enough uh, vaccination, uh, it's problem of the other part of the world because the communication is uh, ongoing. Uh, we have, firstly, we have to have uh, some kind of uh, feelings for those people who are going to suffer because they, they cannot afford uh, vaccination. But also, the uh, fact that so big portion of human population is vaccinated is also, uh, uh, is also uh, touching uh, the, our, our situation. Course. Because we are traveling, we have contacts, we are moving Family. all around. Yes, families, friends, uh, culture, sports. So exactly. uh, it's not possible to have saved just part of the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.